G'day, and my name's Luke. I'm one of the friendly sales consultants here at Midland City. Today, I'm gonna to show you the Golf GDI 2017 two liter turbo. Um, if you wanna take a closer look with myself, um, I'm just gonna run you through a bit of the car. So, um, I've got the car on currently at the moment, so you can see the awesome headlights at the front. Um, so if you want to take a closer look, I've got Dan with the camera today, so someone a bit different. Um, so the headlights look awesome on this car. I'm just going to show you a few things around the front as well. The car has got front sensors, uh, which is really awesome. We've got one there, another one over here, and one more around the side here. So that's some of the front there. Now, um, I, they've got the GTI badge, because it is the GDI Golf. Um, if you have a, take a closer look, it's got the nice little badge just here. Um, so you can see the Golf GDI badge, the VW um, iconic logo in the middle, and I'm going to take you for a closer look underneath. All right, so that's the uh, that's the motor of this GTI. Now it is a two-liter turbo, so it outputs a lot a lot of power. Um, and I'm going to take you through the little bits and pieces on the side. So check your dipstick just to the side. Your battery is just on the right. Your fuse box is just over there. Uh, and that's the motor. Now, with these ones here, they do have the DSG gearbox uh, as well, so it just gives you the optimum performance while driving the vehicle. Um, I'm going to close this now. Awesome. So there's that shot. Uh, it has the nice cascade grill on the front as well, as you can have a look at that. It looks like a honeycomb. Pretty cool. Awesome. All right, we're going to go to the next bit uh, of the car. All right. Um, they are front-wheel drive, um, so I just wanted to show you the tread on the tyre. Um, so if you ever take a look, you'll be able to see that there's a, a nice bit of tread left in the tyre there. Beauty. And they got the 19 inch alloys. As you can have a look at this one here, no actual curb rash on the vehicle. So um, that's also nice with these nice looking alloys. They got the little GDI badge on the side there. I'm walking around, I can't see any damage. Um, no really shopping trolleys or anything like that. And we're taking a closer look at the back ones now. Um, they got the plenty of tread on the back here as well. And there's no scuff marks on the alloys. Beauty. All right. So we're going to walk around here now. I'm going to show you the uh, back side of the car now. So they've got the dual tip exhaust at the back. Um, so it gives you a real sporty look. So you can see those two there. And then on the back as well, they've got the reverse sensors as well. There's that one there and that one there. Now to open the boot. Um, if you're having a look with me, you can't actually open it like this at all. Like I'd be stuck. I'm like, trying can't get it up. Um, where it is, is actually in the badge itself. Now that's the, uh, the boot space as well. So plenty of cargo space. Has a parcel shelf as well. And then your spare tyre is just located just underneath there. All right. Awesome. Bring that down. Kel, we're going to go around to this side now. Fuel cap's just situated on the driver's side. So don't forget that when you're going to fill up. All right. Back tyre, plenty of tread, alloy in mint condition as well. Alrighty, follow me, follow me. I'm just taking a close, there is just a tiny little mark on this door here, it's going to be hard to see. You might see Dan's feet, um, but there's the mark just there. Um, awesome, there we go. Uh, and then just for this last front tyre now, alloy once again is in mint condition and plenty of tread on the tyres as well. These 19 inch alloys are, are your classic GDI ones. They look really nice. They kind of got like a blade shape. Um, but what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take you for a closer look on the inside. Welcome back to the inside of this beautiful GDI. Firstly, we're gonna start off with the roof. Um, now with the roof on these GDIs, as you can see, they've got this lovely black material for the roof, um, which is a bit different to other cars when they have that gray or whiter looking color. It looks nice and it really sets it off in this car. Um, with your black pillars, black dash, um, and then into the seat. So I'll also show you the seats now. They've got this checkered pattern through here with the red and the white and the gray um, through the black, and also the bucket seats. So they actually just basically hold you in um, when you're going around the corners, um, so it keeps you nice and tucked in, all right? Um, we've got sunglasses up here, so you can check your sunnies up in there. That hides away nice as well, like that. And then there's the light controls through here. On this one here, there's got the auto dimmers um, in the reverse mirror here. So when you get your high beams up from behind you, it'll automatically dim them. All right, so we're going to go down a little bit further now. So when you can see, I've got the um, nav already preset on here. Um, so it's got the navigation. You do have your normal radios with your AM and your FM. It's got your media system as well. So if it's got Bluetooth, um, it also has uh, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can also connect your phone to the Bluetooth. Um, and then you can go through all your, um, so my phone's connected currently. 
if you had your contacts through here, um, I haven't synced mine through it, but your contacts would show up on the list, okay? Um, so that's the inf in uh, entertainment system. Now with the nav, um, you can update the nav uh, once a year um, via this part here. So where it is is a disc that would locate just into here, um, and then you can update it whenever you feel uh, the need. All right, so now the volume's over there, your selectors are over here, okay? Um, we're going to go down a little bit lower, dual climate aircon, um, so that's in the car as well. So this one here is just saying that I can choose this way, and then you can change it up 22.5 over here, 25 over there, okay? Uh, there's a nice little hidden compartment a bit lower. So th that's where you can put your phone, um, connect the USB for the CarPlay, and auxiliary, all right? Beautiful. Um, next bit down here, before you run away, Dan, oh, yeah, keep going. Um, we've got different drive modes, so you can go through normal, sport, individual, eco, comfort mode, back to normal. So you can adjust that. Now this car does have a auto stop feature as well. Um, so what it is is when you get up to the traffic lights, for instance, and you want to um, put your foot on the brake, the engine will cut off. Um, it's just to save your fuel um, and the uh, emissions as well. So it's a nice little feature, good for the um, climate and good for your pocket. Awesome. All right. Uh, it does have an electric park brake in there, and this one here slides back and forth um, for where you can have your cup holders, okay? Um, now with the aircon unit, I did miss something that I want to let you know. In the back, everyone always asks me, does the car come with rear vents? The answer is yes. So the car's got the rear vents for the family, so that's really important as well. All right, this is the steering wheel now. Um, so if you have a look on the steering wheel, it's got the nice red stitching through the steering wheel and the GDI logo just below here where my finger is. Awesome, so you can see that. Your cruise control and everything's on the left-hand side and your volume adjuster is on the left-hand side there. Um, and then you can select different things through your unit up here um, and adjust songs through there. You can also answer your phone on the controls here as well. It does have paddle shifts, so that makes it a little bit more fun when you go for the drive. Um, so you can go up and down through your gears while driving. Over here, indicator, indicator. Uh, now it's got your, oh, let's keep going, there we go. Uh, the, your wipers are on this side as well. Now it's also got the auto uh, rain sensing wipers, um, so that would also work for you as well, all right? Your light controls are just over here. So you can have it on auto, that's where I would normally leave it. Um, and then you've, you can adjust to just your normal lights or your park lights. Um, to adjust your mirrors, they're over here. It's gonna be hard to see. Yeah, um, we got it over here. And then you can also lock and unlock over here. Um, but that's the basic insides of the Golf GDI. Now this car does come with um, service history. So I've got that one in here. Uh, it is full service history and it also comes with two keys. Um, so that's basically the GDI. Um, that's another video shown to you by the fellas at Midland City.